told. The Lib Dems held the first press conference of the campaign this morning, luring us to get there at the ungodly hour of 7.30 by the prospect of bacon butties. Nick Clegg promised more for mental health as part of an extra £8 billion package for the NHS by 2020. He claimed his plans were concrete, unlike Labour and Tory NHS promises. But it turned out they were based on a wing and a prayer, also known as continual economic growth. By 2017-18, we'll be into eight years into the business cycle, upswing, and it could well end. How will you fund it if there's no economic growth after that? Oh, no, look, of course I accept. You, you can only work in any, from any parliament to the next when you, when you talk about public spending. You can, only, you can only operate on, you have to operate on certain assumptions. Of course you do. That's what the OBR does. That's what any economist does. That's what any, any analyst of the British economy does. You can't, you can't, since I can't tell you precisely what the future is going to happen, I can tell you that we base our plans on the predictions that we're given independently by the Office of Budget Responsibility. What do you do if there's no growth? Well, look, what do I do if the world comes to an end next Tuesday? I mean, you can't... You can't oh, it's of course, more likely you'll have no growth in the world coming to an end. Uh, well, I, 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 I personally think as long as we stay the course and don't lurch to the right or the left, I accept the greatest threat to, Brit to ongoing growth in the British economy is that we don't continue the balanced approach to fiscal consolidation and maintain the stability which has led to far greater growth than many people predicted. And 